In this video, I will show you how to properly set up and manage your OmniSend account. This might save you from some headaches in the future, especially if you're planning to be using OmniSend with multiple stores. So what exactly we're going to be looking at today is first of all, I'm going to explain to you how accounts, users and stores work with OmniSend so that you see the big picture and can better understand how exactly to set everything up for your business needs. Then I'm going to show you how to connect a store to your OmniSend account and then how to connect multiple stores. Next, we're going to look at how to add users to your account and the different user roles that we have in OmniSend. And then finally, I'm going to show you how to transfer the ownership of your account to a different user. So creating an account with OmniSend, keep in mind that only one OmniSend account can be created using your email address. However, you can connect multiple stores to the same master account. And on top of that, your email can be added as a user to multiple different accounts at the same time. So put more simply, one account can have only one owner, but can have multiple different users and can also have multiple different stores connected to it. An important detail to keep in mind is that users are going to be added to the account, not to the stores. So in the case presented, user 1 is going to have access to both store 1 and store 2, just like user 2 is going to have access to both store 1 and store 2. In the second case though, since the two stores are connected to two different OmniSend accounts, user 1 is going to have access only to store 1 and user 2 is only going to have access to store 2. Now, keeping this in mind, you will be able to set up your account and your stores the way you need to for your business. Having multiple stores under one account is convenient when the stores have the same owner and also the same team working on the stores. This way, the owner and the team is going to be able to easily switch between the stores as well as copy email templates and automation workflows and use them across the stores. Also, this will allow to have all of the billing under one credit card. This is obviously not going to be the ideal situation for everybody and in some cases is going to be more convenient to have multiple different accounts. This way you can have the billing set up for multiple accounts separately using different credit cards. And also you can assign different users to different stores without them getting access to all of the other stores. Finally, keep in mind that a person can copy all of the same templates and automations across all of the stores that they have access to even if the stores are under different accounts. And last but not least, you have an option to transfer the ownership of your OmniSend account. It's very simple to do, more on it later, but just keep in mind that by transferring ownership of the account, you're also transferring ownership of all of the stores connected to it to a single person. This is why it's very important to keep the big picture in mind ahead of time. If in the future you might need to have separate stores on separate accounts, then you better create separate accounts for each store right away. If on the other hand, you are certain that you're not going to need to do that, then of course it's more convenient to have your multiple stores under one master account. Now let's look into how to connect a store and multiple stores to your OmniSend account. From your OmniSend account dashboard, you will have to click on your account name, and go to Account Management. And here you have a list of your connected store accounts. These are all the store accounts that you are the owner of. Each store connected to your master account will have its own separate contact account, statistics, reports, and pricing plan, but it will all be built under the same account. And from here you can access any of your store accounts to see the sales data, send campaigns, or set up automations. To connect a new store, you will need to click on Register Store and enter all of your store's information. And just to be completely clear, this is assuming that we do not need to create a separate account. If you go back to your dashboard, you can see the store account that you're currently in on the top right of the screen. And you can see more information about the store account if you go into Connected Store. Now I will show you how to add users to your account and also explain the different user roles that we have in OmniSend. We will need to go back to Account Management and open the Users tab. Here you can see the list of your current users and you can add more by clicking Add User. 
Keep in mind that there's a limit to the amount of users you can have on your account depending on your pricing plan. For free and trial, the limit is 2. For standard, it's 3. For pro, it's 5. And for enterprise, you can have an unlimited amount of users. To add a new user, you will need to enter their email address and then select a desired user role. The selected role will dictate what parts of the account the user will have access to. The owner and the admins have full account access, with the exception that the admin does not receive important notifications related to the account, and also their access to the account may be changed or revoked. The managers have access to all core features, but they cannot export contacts or access the account-related information and also the other account users. The analysts have access to the statistics and reporting of all of the features, but they cannot set up any campaigns or automations themselves. The campaign coordinators have access to campaigns and automations and also to segmentation, but they cannot see or export the contacts that they're working with. And the content creators have access to editing campaigns and automations, but they cannot send any themselves. If there's already an account set up under the email address that you're trying to add, they will automatically receive access to your account. If not, you will need to create a password for them. Keep in mind that regardless if they have an account set up or not, the user that you're adding is not going to receive any notification about it via email. So you will definitely need to inform them about this. And if you're creating an account for them, then you will also need to share the account credentials. Now, the person that you've just added to your account is going to be able to access it either from their dashboard by clicking on their account name and then switch store, where they are going to see a list of all of the store accounts that they have access to, or by logging in with your provided credentials. Going back to the account management page, here's where you can change the roles assigned to your users or remove them from your account. And last but not least, here is where you can transfer the ownership of your account. Before transferring ownership, make sure to update the billing page with the new owner's billing information. And by clicking Transfer Ownership, you will be able to specify the user who you would like to transfer the ownership to, and then initiate the transfer. And finally, you can add developers to your store to give them access to that particular store's activity and error logs. To do that, you will need to go to Store Settings, and under Settings, click Developers, and finally add Developer and enter their email address. Now that was absolutely everything you need to know about how to properly set up your account, users, and stores in OmniSend. To quickly recap, keep in mind that one email address can be the owner of only one OmniSend account, but it can have multiple users and also multiple stores connected to it. So to leave you off with a more practical example, let's say that we are a direct-to-customer brand and we have multiple stores for different markets, and we know that we will not need to transfer the ownership to anyone as all of the stores belong to us and we want to keep things simple. Therefore, we are creating them under one account and assigning them to the same billing. Now, on the other hand, though, let's say that we are an agency and we are developing accounts for different clients. We know that we will need to transfer the ownership of different accounts to different clients at some point. Therefore, we are creating them as separate accounts from the start. Also, now you know how to add and navigate multiple stores in your OmniSend account, how to add users and developers to your account, and also now you're aware of the different user roles that we have in OmniSend. And finally, you now know how to initiate an ownership transfer and also all of the things to keep in mind before doing so. In case you need to access any of this information in the future, there's going to be links to some of our knowledge base articles in the description of this video so that you can very quickly find the exact piece of information you need.